So this is new? So this is new, this is the ACC2. Yep. Um, so Dakota. Jesus. 222 stations. Are that standard or is that moduled out That's to 220? That's moduled out to 222. Yep. So 75 stations a piece. Yep. Okay. Um, Two, how many stations? 20, 200. 225. Okay. So, yep. You've also got uh, We call maintenance mode. Oh wow! Oh, that's so, so good. Do, so you're not going. You yeah. do all your work from here, rather than going around. Yeah. And when you do that, it goes straight into uh, maintenance mode, so yep. we can start looking at, uh, at the system. It's a nice you know, touch screen. Yep. Wow, that's a massive jump forward. Yeah. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is Dakota. We also have a, a traditional um, wide version. Yep. Still modular. Uh, still modular. Yep. Um, so you have. Uh, Handles up to six pumps. Uh, six pumps. Six pumps. So six water sources or six, six pumps? Six water sources. Yep, yep. All pumps. Yep, so three, three, four, two, yep. whatever it might be. Yep. Six flow meters. Yep. Um, uh, you can group programs, you can do if then programming. So if you've got a yeah, sensor yeah. and you want the sensor to stop and start something, you, it'll do all of that. And the sensors are all, they need to be a hunter sensor or no, any th sensor. aftermarket third party, whatever. Yep, yep cool. Any as long as it communicates using the same. Yeah, we use. Um, 4 to 20 milliamp sensors, uh, straight on off sensors. Yep. Uh, yeah, so like a basic gutter yeah. mount rain sensor if, that's, sensors, if you want to go yeah. that simple. Yep. Yeah, yep. all sorts of, of options. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So and this the is an outdoor, it's obviously just missing its door. Yep, we just took yep. the door off the display. We do the same. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it's a, got a massive big power supply in here. So from so a. That's uh, the reason you can operate so many. Yeah, so you can have, you know, uh, in the conventional model, I think you can have uh, 10 stations yep. operating at once. And in Dakota, I think it's up to 40. Jesus. Ten, even 10 is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, and these, these fuses are obviously... Yep. So I haven't the, seen them in a controller before. No, no, not since like the 90s. But Yeah. So what these fuses are is these protect the, uh, the leg, the power supply from uh, the, the Dakota cable coming in yep. from lightning. So these will blow. Yep. There's just some replacements up here. Yeah. They're standard fuses because yeah. the problem is where do you go and yeah. get a fuse from? Yeah. Well, we, just well, we don't, we don't have them. Like, yeah. you know. Go to the auto electro electronic store and there you go. I remember back when that was it the Dundee controller that Filmac had. Yeah, had those. They had those little that's it. cylinder fuses. Yeah. We always had problems with them. And Toro had a fuse controller as well, I reckon, a while back. This is like 2005. But. Yeah. So, yeah, we've just gone back to these because people were having trouble getting fuses. So, yeah. standard fuse. What's this? Okay, so you can program your decoders here. Ah. So you can actually uh, get your decoder and program it directly. Using so you these stick two the ports. two metal stick pieces the two in there. In and yep. and uh, you can program it. Yeah. So you don't need one of those tools, which you no, could use. You could you, use yeah. an IHD. Yep. Um, but you don't need it. You can actually program it right here. Wow. It's come a long way. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the ACC two. Yep. And you can also do wireless flow meter with it as well. How far? Uh, about. It's about 300 feet. And does the, Sorry, 3,000 feet. It's a long way. Yeah. What, what's at the flow meter end? Is it powered or? Right here. So that's it. Is there a battery in there or? There's a battery in here. Are you the only ones with this? Uh, yeah. That's crazy. So I've got a battery in here. There's the battery. And so as you mentioned when you were talking over there, the, the biggest problem for that contractor in the US is the cable. Cable. This completely eliminates. Oop. Completely eliminates that. That's correct. Probably the problem of having half a valve box missing. Yeah. So that's yeah. how it would normally look, yep. sitting in the valve box. Yep. Uh, there's the antenna built into the top of the valve box. And you just want to Power test supply. the line of sight and make sure it's all yep. right when you're installing something like that. Just do a test, and this is the receiver device here. Yep. So the receiver comes in, feeds it into the controller, and the controller can make decisions based on the flow. And that can handle six of them? Six of those. But not six wireless? or uh, One wireless. One wireless. And then five, five sensors. Yep. yep, five other devices. So. Yep. They might be uh, so flow sensors, and they can be on the Dakota path as well. Yep. So you can have a flow sensor on the Dakota path. Wow. It almost feels like there's so much, like, you can't tell me everything about this. Like, there's so oh, much in it. We couldn't do it. Yeah. Not today. Pretty cool. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's a fair bit happening. Yeah. It's good to see, man, because uh, honestly, like, it's felt like Hunter was in stale for a long time, like, as a, as a dealer. Yeah. And as, obviously, you can't comment on that, but... Um, it's a start to see well, development's really good. Development takes time. Yeah. You know? And so it takes time and yeah. effort and, and money. money. Time makes, means money, yeah. Money, I mean, Money's not the issue with Hunter, no. time is. Yeah. And as I said, we've got 170 engineers Crazy, eh? working flat and out. And you don't want to go to market with a, with a shitty product either. No. So. 
Well, everything's fully tested. So this is fully tested in the US. Yep. Fully tested in Europe, fully tested in Australia, so yep. we beta test. And Australia is such a small market, I guess sometimes you have a product go to market in the US and then come here eventually, is that how no. it works? Or it's always worldwide? Pretty much, we always yep. Because that's the issue we've had with other manufacturers is that they're like, yeah, it's available. Like, we're like, how come we can't get this controller? And they're like, oh, it's only got the the driver for the, or the transformer for yeah. the, or the US plug for the, or the, the Wi-Fi is not ready for Australia and... No, we typically always launch internationally. Equal opportunity supplier. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we try to. Yeah. Uh, and it depends a bit. Sometimes we do get delayed on international launch. That, yep. The only reason that occurs is because of um, some sort of a pr approval for a product of lines. Yep. That's really all that it is. And so that's really a government issue than a product yep. re reliability we'll or readiness for issue. Example. Australia has its own unique electronic uh, electrical requirements. Yeah. They don't apply anywhere in the world apart from Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. So taking getting compliance in Australia sometimes takes us a little longer. Yep. Fair enough. All right. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate right. it. Very good to thank see you. you. I'm glad yeah, you're you well. Too.